Hello everyone, I am Keisha, and I'm very happy to see you guys again in the video today. If you are interested in bodybuilding, you may have heard of the film, Too Big for the World. And the main character in the film will also be our topic today, Irene Anderson. But what makes Irene one of the biggest women in the world? Come on, let's go and find out right now. Irene Anderson was born on September 9, 1966 in Denmark. She moved to Sweden when she was two years old. Her hometown is Malmö, Sweden. Irene is now 5 feet 7 inches high, which is equivalent to about 170 centimeters. In contact season, the muscle clad chick weighs in at 185 pounds, but in those off mittens, she is a more kishuni 209 pounds. With such height and weight, it is easy to understand why she is known to be one of the biggest female bodybuilders in the world. Irene was a serious athlete as a girl. She began studying and competing in martial arts, including judo and kickboxing, when she was 9 years old. Some years later, she had a friend with a gym, and she started weight training. She liked it, and her body responded quickly. She trained consistently for so long that her body considered this degree of development to be normal. I'd always been muscular, so I was what people call a fast gainer, Irene recalls. Irene turned 18 in 1984, and one of her inspirations was Beth Francis. She saw the movie Pumping Iron 2. Irene realized she had a body like Beth's, and Beth became a role model. In 1999, Irene went back to kickboxing before focusing on bodybuilding in 2003. Although many urged her to compete, it wasn't until 2003 that Irene entered a show. One reason for this long delay was she gave birth to three children in the 1990s, but she never stopped training. At the 2004 Lucia Classic, she won first place and achieved her IFBB Pro card. She then started to compete in the United States. She attended her first IFBB Pro competition, the 2006 IFBB Atlantic City Pro, where she placed 18 plays. On August 15, 2015, Wings of Strength announced that Irene Anderson received a special invite for the IFBB 2015 IFBB Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships. This was Irene Anderson's first Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships qualification. At the 2015 IFBB Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships, she placed 14 plays. Irene has a lifelong dream to be the biggest bodybuilder in the world. Still, the biggest competitions in the world are now removing female bodybuilding, and that is why she is carrying out the investigations on why female bodybuilding has been removed. Too Big for the World is her film about discrimination and society's fear of strong and muscular women. That is also why Irene has gained a huge number of fans. She has more than 52.7 thousand followers on Instagram. This number has never stopped to increase. Irene is the mother of three. She currently lives in Gothenburg, Sweden. She has opened a gym and a successful hotel. Sometimes, in Sweden, she is often seen as a freak, and people question whether she is a woman or a man. Still, when she visits the United States, she is congratulated on her great physique and her hard work. Hannah Hellman, the top muscular woman from Georgia Hannah Hellman was born in 1991 in a small town near Atlanta, Georgia. She was in contact with sports at a quite early age, and if you know her body's measurements, you will understand how hardworking pays off. She is 5 feet 6 inches, which is equivalent to 168 centimeters, 135 pounds, 61.5 kilogram. But this does not mean she is heavy. Her BMI is really normal. It's just because her muscle has gained a certain level of maturity, giving her a wiry body. When Hannah was little, she was always athletic and played sports such as softball, basketball, tennis, golf, and ran track. She was even on the all-region softball team every year and on the all-star team in high school. After she graduated high school, she was involved in dancing and cheering for two years. Then, she was ready for a change and sought out a new sport to commit to. At that time, she was working for LA Fitness, where she had access to an amazing gym with tons of equipment. There, she began researching the sport of bodybuilding and started to subscribe to weightlifting program channels on YouTube. After a few weeks, she decided to take a leap of faith and began to prepare for her first figure competition. She started her competition and fitness journey in early 2013. Although she was quite younger, compared to other competitors, she got many high ranks. In Women's Physique Class A in 2013, she ended up placing first. Wow, what a high award with a youngster! Then, in the same year, she earned her IFBB Pro card at the NPC Nationals. Since then, she has competed in 15 total professional shows, 13 shows in Women's Physique, and 2 shows in Women's Bodybuilding. 
That is actually the result of her hard work in training and amazing stamina, which she totally deserves it. Hannah Hellman is not a really active person on the internet. Although she owns the Twitter account, she shares little on that platform. That is also why the number of his followers is not high, with only less than 1,000 followers. Instead, she concentrates on her business. She is working as a personal trainer. She wants to be not only her client's coach, but also their mentor, number one fan, and biggest support system. Hannah used to share that. Remember to stay focused on each goal and not on the difficulties you might be having. Anything in life worth having is no easy task, and focusing on the negative experiences will only make things harder on yourself. There, you see? Believe in yourself, try your best, everything will pay off.